Hey everybody, today is Friday, October 12th, 2018. This is Jeff. How's everybody doing today? Oops, let's see if I can get that. There it goes. A little blurry. It's a little rainy outside today, everybody. So, hope everybody's trying to stay dry and staying warm and starting to come fall in the air. You knew it's going to happen before Halloween. Come on now, you got to have a wet Halloween. So, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having, been having a great day today. Hope you're all a little motivated today. The weekend's here. You should be happy about that. However, like I said, I hope you have stuff planned for you and your kids and your family and everything tonight to basically have a great family weekend, have a weekend with your friends. You know, just do something that's awesome this weekend. Do something that's great. Do something that you're going to remember for the rest of your life that doesn't involve jail time or seeking out my services. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was also going to tell everybody, if you're thinking about it, I am looking for people to walk in the uh, Veterans Day Parade on November 10th. Uh, we will have all kinds of trucks in there. We'll have all kinds of stuff in there. I'm talking about our group. Uh, and I'm looking for people to walk in the Veterans Day Parade with us. If you'd like to walk in the Veterans Day Parade, make sure you get a hold of me. Now, today... Like I said, go out there and be motivated today. Go out there and make today better than yesterday. See what you can do for yourself today that just blows all expectations. When was the last time you read a good book? I always tell everybody you need to read um, 11 good pages of a book every day. Me, I read about a chapter or two every single day. Even in some books I read over and over again because everybody's like, well, how can you read that many books? Um, some books, depending on what month it is, I will read twice, three times, four times, however many times it takes because, like I said, the books that I'm reading are educational, inspirational, a lot of them are biographies and stuff like that. I try not to pay too much attention to the news and everything because, to me, the only thing I see is a bunch of people being very mean, very evil on the news. Look, I know I can protect myself. I know I, I what I can do. I'm not worried about a Democrat or a Republican or anybody like that. What I'm worried about is making sure that each and every one of us live up to our expectations every day and that we know that we matter every day. And that when you go out there and you go in for that interview, you go in for that raise, or you're trying to lose that weight, or you're trying to get that sale, or you're trying to do something that no one has ever done before, that you understand that you can do it. That you can do it not because, you know, it's there, but you can do it because you put your heart into it. You put your, your your mind into it. You did your research, you know. When you go in for an interview or whatnot, you don't go in looking like a piece of crap. You go in there dressing the part. You know the business when you go in there. If you're going into college and going to classes and stuff, you know you've got to study. Otherwise, you're not going to pass the class. You do what it takes to get ahead in the world. You do what it takes to make sure that you matter, your family matters, your kids matter. You tell your kids every day you love them. You tell them every day that you're proud of them. And then every single day, you make them understand there are first, second, third places in life, okay? The reason why is because we live in a society today where everybody thinks everybody's going to come in first. Well, why try if everybody comes in first? You need to understand that you've got to be a little bit better than the person next to you. You know that old saying, when you got a pack of dogs chasing your buddy's running around next to you and the buddy goes, man, we got to be fast. And your buddy turns to you and says, no, I just need to be faster than you. That's exactly what life's about. It's not about screwing anybody over, taking advantage of anybody. It's about doing what's right for the right reasons. Okay? It's not about kicking anybody when they're down. It's not about, you know, it's about helping them. It's about supporting them. It's about supporting what they're doing. You know, throughout my life, I've, you know, I get really depressed sometimes because there are people that supported me on a lot of stuff. And no matter how hard I tried, I could not come about. However, the next things I did, I was very successful with. But the things that people supported me with at the beginning, it's kind of like I felt bad. And they're like, no, we knew because you know what? The, the failures I had in the past are the reasons why I have success today. And that's what some people forget about. You know, if you sit there and you look at everybody like, oh, you did this in your past. No, that was pretty much a stepping stone to have success in your life. If you want success in your life, you must learn to fail. And you must learn to fail happy and gracefully. You must understand that you need to look over everything you did. Every time we send a space shuttle into space and it blows up or something happens, does that mean we quit, we give up? No. We go over it, we look at everything, we look at our problems, and we fix it. And next thing you know, we're landing on the moon and soon we're going to be landing on Mars. 
okay? How about your kids in school? If they if they lose a baseball game, a basketball game or something, what do you do? You tell them to practice harder, and then when they do win, they feel more pride. You know what? And the more games they win or the more hits they get, they feel a lot of pride. It's not always about winning. Sometimes it's about getting the hit. It's sometimes about striking a batter out. Maybe it's making that play on the infield to the outfield, you know? Man, it's all about what we're learning through our failures. And sometimes people, they look at winning and losing as in like these really bad things. They're actually really good things because we learn from them both. And I tell you what, you can never have a self. Look how long the Cubs lost, okay? Look how long the Cubs lost. And then a couple years ago, they finally, for the very first time, won the World Series. Now, did they give up? No. Did people give up on them? Yeah. Did they... They have probably one of the largest followings in any franchise history because they never gave up. They never just said, you know, we're never going to win. Let's change our name. Hey, we're never going to win. Let's. But you know what? They won. And I guess it's a great failure story. And you know, they had some of the best averages out of that year and everything else. All I'm telling you this, never give up. And when you do, get back up on your feet. Remember, when you hit rock bottom, rock bottom is a foundation. Rock bottom is a foundation that you can step on and build from there. And then you go up because there's no other place to go. You have nowhere else to go. So might as well go up. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. Each and every one of you matters. I think the world of each and every one of you. If you ever need a friend, you ever need something, you call me. You let me know. And I'm there for you, okay? Look, know this. You matter every day, okay? But you have to earn it. Every day you have to earn it. You may be sad today and you may be depressed. You may be hurting. But remember, you got to pull yourself up, brush yourself off, get back out there and do it all over again. Why? Because life's not going to stop for you. Okay? Then it's not going to stop for anybody. It's going to keep moving forward. Move forward with it and you'll be a better person for it. I'll talk to everybody later. Have a good one, everybody. God bless. I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye now.